hi my beautiful people welcome to my channel in case you're seeing this beautiful face for the first time hi my name is Chiruma and I welcome you to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button please and join this family and for you my old subscribers I appreciate your support thanks for always coming back in today's video I want to show you guys how I made this realistic lemonade braided wig and if you're interested in seeing how I made this then keep watching see you again so for this braided wig i'm using a full lace wig constructed by yours truly in case you want to say i constructed this full lace wig by myself using a braiding hair i will link a link i put a link somewhere on the screen or you check the description box so the color i'm using for the braiding hair is color 900 and the, i will start by cutting the braiding hair into three or four parts then feather out the tips or stretch the out tips and then comb the hair So after the um, stretching out the tips and covering the hair, this is what the outcome looks like. Now I'll proceed to um, making my wig. So this is a my improvised fullest wig I made using a uh, canicle on hair. This is what it looks like. I've already secured it on the canvas hair that I'm going to use for the braided wig. Then I'll start cutting out the way I want, how the size of the braid I want to braid. So just watch what I'm doing. I will talk to you guys. Oops. So if you want to know how I made this full last week both construction of the cap and ventilating the hair i will keep uh, put the links to the videos on the screen somewhere here on the screen or do check the description box so that you will understand this video very very well
say excuse me guys i have to change my position because that wig stand wanted to frustrate me but i cannot be frustrated please let me just sit down here and do my thing okay i hope guys don't mind so this is the design i'm going for you can design your own any how you want you don't necessarily need to do the way make your own this way you can design it to your taste so i'll continue you know and be mindful of the amount of braiding hair you are adding on the to the feeding braid you know the fullest wig itself is made of braiding hair you know what i mean that means that the hair on the cap or the um, fullest wig hair is thick so you have to add adequate um, amount of braiding hair so that you not end up making your braided wig or the feeding braids too big and chunky yeah so i'll keep braiding braiding like this and i will braid it halfway somewhere because the hair i have uh, they are short i'll be adding more hair to extend the length of the braids at the end so that as I was making this video, my phone battery died off. So in the process of charging the phone, let me not waste my time. So I decided to make this individual bread. So this, uh, this is what individual breads look like. Okay. So it's a normal way of making individual breads. That's all. So let's continue. I'm just showing you here where how I got the part that's supposed to do the video braids. Just follow the line of your feeding braid. Hey, Chineke, what the hell? Sorry guys for the interruption, you know, I was busy making my video gently minding my business and the, my electricity was interrupted, could you imagine that? But I told myself that I must finish this week, I'm not leaving this city, you know, because I'm making this week, this video in the middle of night, I have other things to do, so I have to finish it, I have to wait for them, I waited for them, but thank God, the light was restored early enough than I expected so let's continue with what we are doing so I'll continue braiding the individual I'm um, sorry the feeding braids designing it the way I want it to be and make sure that as we are braiding that the hairs or the feeding braids are staying together that's why you see me using pin to pin them down whenever I'm making the back Yes, to in, in order to that to help me, you know, normally as yes, if you're making it on someone's head, you have to ask the person to help you hold the braid or the hair. That's only what the pin is doing for me. Yes. All right, this is how far I have gone. I want to just quickly show you what it looks like. Then let me continue to the front. The braids I'll be going to the front.
so at this point i am done making the feeding breads so i'll go ahead to complete the breads uh, to extend it to the length i want so this is me adding braiding hair to the feeding bread so it will be long the way i want it to be And after braiding the hair to the length I want, I'll go ahead and dip the wig in hot water. And this is what it looks like after putting it in hot water. And I went ahead to add my baby hairs. I did this no, not any other special way. In other special way, just um, the way you ventilate your hair. The braiding uh, the baby hairs, I still use hair extension. That's the braiding hair I use in making the fullest wig now it's time for me to add my elastic band if i show you quickly what it looks like on my head so i want to show you quickly how i attach my elastic band make sure that the elastic band is close to the front somewhere close and past your ear you know you have to place it ear to ear but this one has to pass your ear a little bit just close to the frontal or front then use my needle but mistake I made I should have used a thread that matches the color of the braiding hair that's one mistake I made but no problem so I use my needle and thread to attach the elastic band this is what I'm showing you that the black thread was in showing through the lace but it's not that much because I systematically you know try to make it invisible enough i will do this part this particular one i'm doing i'll do it on camera then go ahead and do the other one off camera then i'll come back again Touching the um, elastic band, went ahead to cut off the excess lace. So this is what the wig is looking like without any glue, only the elastic band. I did not add any clip or comb. So this is what the bag looks like. I'll go ahead and um, install this wig properly. You know, by adding that's uh, blowing it down using my got to be to the place I'm showing you now. 
yes i'll come back yeah this is what the wig looks like i only use go to be glue and my elastic band that's only two things i use for this wig and this is what the individual braids look like so guys what did you think what do you guys think about this lemonade some people call it you know um what do they call it again one corner one corner braids or one corner wig or one corner style i don't know so guys this is what the edges look like this is what the baby hair looks like this is what the back looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learn one or two things from this video if you do let me hear you from the comments so if you have any question if you have anything to say just comment it i will be there as usual to last answer your questions for what to contact me for my braiding week braiding weeks i will put links to how you can get me if you're on facebook i'll put a link to my facebook page which page if you're on whatsapp i'll put me a link to my whatsapp so guys thank you very very much for sticking with me to this moment i hope to see you guys again in my next video please don't forget to hit this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i'm begging you subscribe to the channel comment like share this video till next video i hope to see you again so remain blessed bye